Hi, and welcome to freenetworkstory.com. In this lab, we'll be doing some ERGRP route manipulation using the offset list command. So let's have a look at the requirements list. We have to enable ERGRP on all routers. We have to make sure ERGRP is enabled on all interfaces that we're using variable length subnet masks. And finally, that we configure R4 so that the link between R2 and R3 is preferred. Let's get started on route 2. Let's check that ERGRP is not already configured. Show IP protocols. It's not. Let's configure it. Conf T router ERGRP 100. We told to use VLSM, so no auto summary. And we also have to enable ERGRP on all interfaces. So network 10.0.0.0, network 2.0.0.0, and Network 22.0.0.0. All right, let's do the same thing on router 3. First, checking that ERGRP is not already configured. OK, let's configure it. Router ERGRP 100. No auto summary. Network 10.0.0.0. Network 3.0.0.0. And network 33.0.0.0. And of course, network 192.168.1.0. Now you might have noticed that during my configuration, the neighborship with router 2 went up. Let's jump on router 4. Show IP protocols. Configure terminal. Configure ter terminal. OK. Router ERGRP 100, no auto summary. Network 10, 0, 0, 0. Network 4, 0, 0, 0. And network 44. The neighborship with the router 2 went up. Let's have a look at the IP routes. Show IP, show IP route ERGRP. And we only see the route from router 2. We should be seeing routes from route 3 as well. Let's try to troubleshoot that real quick. Show, show run. Okay, broadcast is enabled. Oh, of course. Well, there would be two reasons for us not seeing routes from router 3. The first is, as you see here, I just forgot to enable ERGRP on Ethernet 00. The second, and we'll see that later, is that I probably have Split Horizon enabled on Router 2. So let's just enable it here. Network 192.168.1.0. Okay, that fixed it. Now let's have a look at Router 2. Show IP route ERGRP. Here we see that router 2 has two routes to 192.168.1.0 slash 24. One via router 4 and one via router 3, which is expected since ERGRP by default does equal cost load balancing. But our requirements list states that we have to configure R4 so that the link between R2 and R3 is preferred. Let's jump on R4 and do that. So configuring offset list is a two-step process. Step one, we have to configure an access list matching the routes to be manipulated. Access list one, permit 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Step two, we have to configure the offset list under the ERGRP routing process. So router ERGRP 100 offset list, the access list matching the traffic, that was 1, the direction to apply the offset list, so that's outbound, since we want to influence router 2. Define how much delay we want to add to the update sent to router 2, 50, and router 2 is connected to router 4 via interface serial 1 slash 0, serial 1 slash 0. 
Now let's look at Router 2's routing table. Show IP route. Yeah, JRP. So now we see that Router 2 has only one route to 192.168.1.0/24, and that's via Router 3. Now it doesn't mean that we're blocking updates coming from Router 4. Remember that by default, ERGRP does equal cost load balancing. And since the route via Router 4 has a higher cost, it doesn't appear in the routing table anymore. We could configure unequal cost load balancing to make it appear anyway, but we will do that in another lab. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.